Hello everyone, got the gamer skills here and welcome back to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. This was the new update. Um everyone's playing it right now. It's so if you want to check it out, links in the description to, and today we're going to look for secrets, look for different endings that we didn't find in the last episode because really we just got the mine facility ending like the main ending like the one where you listen to him. So let's try it. Okay, begin the game. So let's start this. Okay, we're back here. We don't need to listen to this. I also turned subtitles on for you guys. So, um, let's All do this. All of his were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh god, I think the FOV is doing something to my... Um... One second field of view yeah I think it's too much for my game Let's set it to 70 I guess I kind of like it on 90 though but it's less laggier when it's on 70 when Stanley came to a set of two open doors he entered the door well, we on his entered left. the door on the left last time let's go to the door this on was the left. not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it ah uh, this is my favorite room ah yes truly a room worth admiring it had really been worth the detour after all just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate beautifully constructed room Stanley simply it's stood here, very nice drinking here. it all in. Let's get out of here, though. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh. Yeah, we definitely did. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't oh, five years ago. Warning. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been oh, has it? Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for Oh, but it's so much more fun when I make every decision by myself. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Okay. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place sure, your face I'll reach in another... out. I'll unplug the oh, phone no, so no, she'll no, know I'm can't... not trying to Did call her. Did you just her. unplug the phone? Now that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You well, actually I did that because I'm, I'm good at games. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Oh, this is like the big no, twist part. definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Can't I not oh, no. Oh, no. He found out. Person. <sighs> no, I'm definitely Stanley. I, I don't know what you're talking so about. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe. Oh uh, no, don't do that. Instructional video. Oh, I'll pick oh. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if okay. used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. 
He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work figuring how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want to practice. Do I click one? I'm literally moving Excellent. my mouth. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. What? Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. Okay, you have oh. noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate this. as a result of negative it looks different than before. But I don't remember there being so many of these. Informed on good decision Four making, clicks. we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. Gonna this way, please. Break this phone. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, he doesn't want me to jump now off. We know your choices are I can't even we jump. Can't have you Space car doesn't and dying. do anything, Imagine so um, he probably knew that, and that's why he did story. that. that story because I can't jump off. All. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative oh, contradiction yes, gets broke any worse. Unfortunately, that story it seems this place is sense. not well equipped to deal with reality. Okay. Let's get out. I don't like this place. Employee Lounge, my favorite place in the Stanley Parable game. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need okay. to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure um, you'll be I up to the task. Or just I follow my just lead and you'll be fine. Sit down All here right. and, and do <clears> nothing. <throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, yeah, I know. Going back here. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Fine. Keep resetting my game anyway. Oh, it's ruined. Oh God. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you my story. You've destroyed my work. I Why? didn't destroy For anything. What? what did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go door. back to that? I can't erase I that can't knowledge. Jump. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Okay, narrator, can I get out of here now? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do, I do? Everywhere. what do I do? What I think do that's I... supposed to say danger no, everywhere. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. One day, two day, one day, two day, Friday. Oh my. Oh my god, the game's turning on me. What? 
am I flying in a plane? What's happening? Oh, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. Okay, My entire rubbish. game is destroyed. It was yeah. the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. I uh, know, I'm not. My story... If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to... Oh. ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means Wait, choosing what? responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll I be can't up even to the see task. My when I look my to the ground. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What just happened? Okay, I'll go to the door on my left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, what? Stanley walked You're upstairs supposed to, to be his able to go office. downstairs too. What? He's changing the story. Whoa. Why does this place Stepping inside different? his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered what? in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from oh, within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. No. I will not speak it. What if I just stand close to this window over here? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. That receiver doesn't look like it needs a code I'm sorry, today. is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please, speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Okay, oh, really? fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... Oh. When Stanley came to a set of what? Open doors, he entered the Wait, door I think doors. I remember this. Is that Stanley's face? Stanley? Oh yeah, there's Stanley. Now we actually get to look at him. I don't think I looked at him when I played this game. The end. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? What is this? Am I? Where am I? Places. It cannot yeah. exist without you. Do you understand? Those are walls. Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Well. Do something. Uh, anything. 
Based on the work of Stanley Parable, um, 2013. I remember that. That was the game I played. Why is he so worried about Stanley? But when I play with Stanley, he's yelling at me, saying, I better choose and stuff. I can't. Well, what was that? What was that? I'm kind of acting like, like I'm. It's like I'm. Um, I'm pretending. I'm like acting like I've never seen it before because I've definitely seen it before. But like, it's really interesting to me. Oh, am I at the start of the game again? Okay. We are going to stop right there. I'm going to try to play this game tomorrow again. Make sure you smash like button, smash the subscribe button, and bye for now.